Congratulations, you guys. Thank you for nice, your time. Nice, thank you. Now, uh, Ted and Tatum, in developing this film, what were your conversations with the director to make sure that your characters are not perceived as the villains of this story? Well, it was more work that I did uh, sort of for myself with the character just to um, make sure that my motivation was not to get the church off because I don't like the church. <clears throat> My motivation was that I really wanted to protect the school, and that's my job as uh, Barbara, who, who's been with the school for many years and, and uh, had lived happily with, with the school, uh, I mean, the church being on the campus. Uh, but things had just started ra the ratcheting up, and the problems had begun uh, with, this school, with this church. And it started to, for the people that at the school who were not there, really for the church, but were there to go to school and mm -hmm. to learn, that was getting compromised. And so I, I just um, really worked on that part of the character so that I knew that my my motivation, if you will, was just to, to um, I didn't have any contempt for the church. I just wanted to protect the students, all the students. And for my character, it was, it was pretty easy because uh, I actually have a great friendship with Reverend Dave. So there wasn't, I, I definitely, I was being put in the position of being the villain. I mean, but I was doing it begrudgingly mm -hmm. and also understanding and compassionately of uh, how and understanding what the church meant to him and his family and his legacy. So I got that. Uh, and so for me, it became personal at one point, and that's when it changed. But I, and that was when it actually became real, when uh, it becomes personal and, and angry. Then you realize that this is, it's very reflective of how many of us live our lives. Yeah, um, that's, his know, arc, myself that, included. that's his arc right there. Mm -hmm. And Shane, uh, a lot of young adult characters in this film kind of yeah. represent my fellow millennials and I, yeah. who may have grown up in a Christian home, but as we grow older, we're not feeling as religious anymore. Yeah. In your opinion, how can we invite the young folks to come back to the church in a way that appeals to their outlook on life? That's a great question. Mm. I've been thinking a lot about that because you're the first person to ask that today, yeah. like, well, which I think is really, so thank you because yeah, it's hard. I, I, I don't know, you know, I'm, I'm, it, it, it's just. We, Good storytelling brings us back. Yeah. I'm going to help you out there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good storytelling brings people back and it's not then about Christianity is not what's being beaten over the head, but it's like it's in the movie, and then it, so people get it without knowing they're getting it in a way. Yeah, no, I mean you have to go to the C.S. Lewis has this great thing about about storytelling, about saying that you can you can tell someone what you know to do something, or you can show them the story right. and go to the, go from their head to their heart. If you can skip the head and go to the heart, mm -hmm. then you get then you can get it and. And you know, and J Jesus worked that way too. He always told stories. He told stories to, to to help us understand our human nature, who we are, what we need, what we what we want. And so, um, I think that kids like millennials, like you know, people my age, I always say kids. I'm like 25. Um, <laughs> we we just we I think we've experienced a lot of hurt from the church and people just. Yeah, you know, creating these false narratives of what it means to look like the perfect Christian or whatever. And I think we just need a little bit more compassion. And um, I'm hoping that we can mend some of that brokenness and, and uh, my generation won't be so scared of like, you know, of, you know, going to church or, or right. talking about God with their friends. Like it, it, it's become this thing where it's not cool to talk about. I'm like, I think it is good to I think talk they about should that. see yeah. this movie. Yes. They, they should. I want them to. I'm, I'm telling That's my friends I to see think. it. I'm excited yeah. for my friends to see this movie. I have a daughter 26 years old and a son 31 and 30. They all need to see this movie. Yeah. Yeah, that's how we get the kids to kind of to hear the message. I think the kids will see themselves in this movie, you know, with their phones and on social media <laughs> and all of that going on. Like, it's not a bunch of people sitting in a pew reading from <laughs> Right, you know, wearing scripture. a church lady. Yeah. Like, this is them. They yeah. will see, and That's you right. know, maybe there's a chance that they'll see that it's welcoming, and right? It's not and it's this... not boring, and it's not it's, it's not like a, a cookie cutter idea. Especially it's, it's, Shane's, Shane's church, right? In this, I mean, it's, it's big, a... it's big, and it's inclusive, and it's 
it's got real stories that are human and now and relevant. And, and I think, and I think, and I just thought of this too. The the thing that my my generation's really concerned with taking care of people, like social justice, is a really important thing. And they they never saw that. I think in like the generation before them with the church, it was always just about like being a better person than the mm -hmm. person next to you. Mm -hmm. Somehow, like got messed up. But like Christianity is so deeply concerned for our brothers and sisters mm -hmm. in need. That's you know, so in our, true. In our, in our, I love that in our communities, right. and and that's what that. that's what my you know gener our generation is so focused on. And if they only like realize like how much of a focus like historically like. The Christian faith has on that, I think, would be really helpful to know. Instead of just like, oh, you don't cuss or you don't smoke, like that's not what it's about. Like, if you don't do those things, that's great. If you do, I don't care. It's like, right. it's about it's about loving God, loving your neighbor. Like that's our and call. helping out people that are are struggling and yeah, less fortunate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay. And that's been the message for years. I love that. Thank you so much, you guys. Yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Appreciate it.